Yep. An yeah. android. God, I'll always go back. iRobot was before its time, I'll say it. <laughs> Will Smith knew what was coming. He tried to warn us. Uh, so is this going to be a full-on... So that's what you meant by ahead of its time. <laughs> I thought you meant the movie itself was ahead of its time. No. You mean the concept yeah, was ahead of its time. Much ahead okay. of its time. So is this going to be... Wait, wait, wait. Real quickly, do you think Will Smith is a good actor? I think he was a much better a good, TV wait, wait, actor than a, than a movie actor. I thought oh, with Fresh I'm Prince sure. was actually oh, better. Got a hey Fresh Smith. Prince, he I'm was not. actually a great actor there. Yeah. I, 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 somebody asked me that question. I was like, oh, well, of course Will Smith's a good actor. And then somebody pointed out to me, well, he just plays Will Smith. Like, he plays the same character. Yeah, but how do we know that that's it, what he's right? actually like? Maybe behind closed doors, the he's only, a horrible person. Maybe. But the only, and this is a the only exception act. to that was the uh, Happiness movie, uh, Pursuit of Happiness, or whatever whatever that movie was. I'm not sure. I thought like, he was a really good about actor. About like 40 that, pounds or whatever. Seven pounds, wasn't that one different too? But uh, maybe it was. We're into the game. Abed actually gets a very good block, so it'll be on his, and they actually switch it up. And it looks like, yeah, they get the Omni Knight against the Kunkka, so Liquid getting the, the good lane swaps, it seems. Because as you said, they don't want the Omni versus the Alk, right? That just means full Alk free farm. Yes, that is my hypothesis. Okay. And it seems that's what they wanted, because no one's rotating. It will be a tri-lane bottom for now, at least. Oh, they're pinging that. Oh, the range creep doesn't get denied down here. Good play, good play. Sania securing the range creeps with Crystal Nova. Yeah, this is fine for them, right? They're just farming 2v3. Meanwhile, Taiga, he's just full on juggling right now. Yeah. I mean, this is what we're talking about with the, the setup from these hero picks. You're, you're going to end up with the game where the Enigma can have this space. He's going to be over here, and he's, he's going to be uninterrupted. No one's going to want to really leave this bottom lane to, to go and sort of force him out of the jungle. That they, He's just going to be allowed to do this. And it's very weird, because we've been seeing mostly these 2 on 2 matchups, but oh, Insania pops the healing salve. going to be okay. This is the first time we've seen a tri-lane, no rotation out. They they just want to get Alka's farm, it seems. They yeah. know this is the hero. Nice taking to it. If they get all these pulls across, oh, they're going to be able insane, to get a lot. Yeah. Insane it. It's got a fairy fire. It's done oh out as well. And in fact, Mickey is able to set up for the first blood themselves as Insania is allowed to walk out alive. Dude, we, uh, I just forgot how low that. Uh, Coddle's HP only yeah, 500 HP. One stun coming out from that last strike just melts them. And a great job by Liquid. That's a 3v2 kill for the two side. And Crystal Nova is. Insane amount of damage. 130 damage in an AoE. Yep. That's uh, pretty tough to beat. Movement and attack slow. And so it will be an early lead here for Liquid. Well, I lied. EG's actually up in gold, but an early kill lead for, for Liquid. And his middle lane is 8-1. Yeah, I've been watching it. Off his body in Koifa. It all started with the, uh, the block. Yeah, the block. Was, uh, I saw that. I didn't realize it would be. And look at he gets that range creep. Because it turns into a double wave pushing into Koifa's tower, so he misses a lot of CS because of that. And then Abed's just been doing little things really well. He's used bull, a bull tornado and cold snap to secure CS for himself. Like Koifa halfway through a deny gets cold snapped and Abed snipes it away from him. Or he tornadoes to make sure he kills the range creep. Like just little stuff like that, Abed's doing really well. Yeah, because I guess what well, each of those individual spells have fairly long cooldowns early on, but when. You know how to Ooh. use each of them in, in every sense. You're, you're going to have a lot of, like, each wave you'll have something to, to mess up the, the CS. The problem is he does use that chicken. He only, he didn't bring out any regen. Look he brought out some plate Oxy. Will he get him? He's just going to run him down and kill him underneath the tower. There's no help wow. for Ramses. As Boxy gets the kill, and he is going to take the free trip back home. Yeah. So gives Ramses goal. The bottom lane, Crit ends up killing Insania, and we got some action in all the lanes now. But still, Boxy, super happy with what happened. Top, you get the experience, you get more gold from that, and you're just looking good. Meanwhile, this this Enigma is level four. Straight up jungling, level four before four minutes in. Jungling's back, baby. For Enigma only. Yes. Nobody else. Well, you shouldn't tell that. You can jungle with anyone you want. <laughs> you don't have, no, 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 no. You haven't seen my Sven jungle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> once you see that, Kev, you'll be good bottom lane. Stun is going to be missed by Mickey, and now doing a little bit of rundown, but that's going to be it. Are you? Do you like this in, in a tri-lane as Keeper of the Light? Are you supposed to go Illuminate? 
no points in the blinding light. I guess uh, I just haven't really seen a tri lane coddle. Man, top. He's going to run him down again. He is. He's this dead. should just be a kill. There's going to be the hill. Yeah, easy. Boxy. I mean, it's, he has these games where he just pops off, and so far, so good. Two solo kills for Boxy. You know, you're talking about like how you felt like Mickey wasn't having uh, that great of a start of a season. I felt like Boxy was really questionable uh, okay. for a lot of the, the start of this season. He just was like, it, he always looked like if he wasn't given a good uh, lane. Fly is just Fly's dying to idolize. Yeah, He's actually just dead. He just walked past them. Oh. Weird. Hit him I, with he the did sword. not respect the idolons there. No. And guess what? Now it's a 4 to 2 kill lead. They finally have the gold lead on their side. Abed still doing amazingly middle, but I guess the real question is this Alchemist is still the, the highest. Yes, there's going to be a stun going down bottom, a stun right back. Make, make case full and low, though. He is. Two more attacks by crit, but we'll only get one off. It's so hard to fight under uh, Acid Spray. Yeah, yeah, Especially with Wave of Terror, right? So they got yeah. insane amounts of minus armor. It's the damage over time mixed with minus armor. It's physical damage. Any punches that you're getting from these heroes do like twice as much damage because you're sitting in deeply in the negatives. Did you see that as well? That BM, Boxy, pause in the game. Insane, you're saying it was his keyboard. He just solo killed him twice. He hasn't even got his keyboard plugged in, Grant. <laughs> he doesn't. And now he's plugged it in. And Crit, he takes advantage of it and just chases down Mickey in the bottom lane. That was odd. He just gets a solo kill with that level two stun. Oh, and we have a possible rotation coming out from Ramsey. See, he's only level five. I'm not really sure what he can do here, but we'll find out. Yeah, he has to lead with Torrent because he only has level 1x. Yeah. And he will not hit it. And oh. yeah. It's a rough rotation. Yeah, all of a sudden this Enigma's level 5.5 top, Boxy's level 6.5, and, and this top lane, it's definitely spiraled out of control for EG. This is the most Boxy thing ever. You know, just to like get a 1v1 and dominate it. Well, just Tiger could be in trouble though. Because Ramses, he did pick up a DD on his way back up top. Set up there into the turret. Wow. And there you go. Ramsey's able to find a tasty kill to sort of get him back on track after Ooh, Boxy a rotated line. bottom. There's going to be a freeze. Crit getting body blocked. Please. Boxy wants to catch up level 2 degen aura, orb of venom, and phase boots, but they might just farm the stack up instead. Two stacks. Okay. They can't really do it. They know it's there, though. And I mean, Arteezy has to know something's up. Yeah, he's going to TP. Will he make it? It's a low cast range. He gets oh. it off. Is this going to be a kill now? Arteezy in a little bit of trouble. There is a level three heal. Crit's here, though. He's going to throw out the stun, and he doesn't quite oh, get Boxy, off the he's heavenly going for it. Oh, my God, Boxy, no. He wanted that. If he dies here, that could be big. But a, a weird TP by Fly a little bit uh, far back, and looks to be OK. Maybe not. This stun from Crit. No, you could turn. He's you could turn to purify him. Oh. One attack isn't enough. He's oh. going to get the heal. I uh, I think that was a really big mistake because stopping the TP, if they had just guarded that triangle area, just forcing our tour to like run all the way around, it already killed enough of his farm. Yeah. If they could have used Boxy and Insania to like clear some of those stacks or something, it would have been great. But and now you see Arteezy, uh, he's abusing the jungle elsewhere. He's just hiding. Look at that gold stack up. I'll hit this shrine. This is really bad because Boxy was doing the best on Team Liquid, and you just kind of lost all that Full momentum wasted. with a with a veiled rotation like that. And oh my goodness, he got he got two golem spawns as an as an alchemist. That's mm. that's yeah. Oh, yeah. there's the black the tornado. Hole. Nicely done. It cancels. There's gonna be the boat giving that damage reduction. Taiga has no mana. It gets cleat, but they can't chase down this kill. Instead, they might look for Mickey, but. It's a 2v3, in comes Crit, not really any mana, he eats a mango. Now he's got a little bit of mana, but they're just going to hit up that shrine. It's going to be a pure value shrine. We'll be in an arcane rune bottom for Boxy. He's going to go look, still see that all the stacks are there, and know that Arteezy moved to the other jungle already. I mean, that's interesting as well. You look at what uh, Tiger's got queued up. He still wa he wants to get the blink first, so he does want to try and make plays happen rather than sort of building up for for the good old push with the the utility items. Do, do, do you sort of like the the idea here of just getting a, a blink maybe so quick that the Venge isn't quite there with the six? Or I, I don't. What's the what's well, the thought process on this? I think the Venge six and I think it's the level two Venge ulti, right? Okay. Like the level so the one, one is ulti, the you know yeah. I don't the reach like isn't it, there. Though. 
Because they're I mean, they're I they have five it. euros. They yeah. can cancel black that's, hole that's pretty what I easily. Mean. Like, I do not like the the blank first. Uh, that's, maybe maybe he'll change it. Me. Maybe he'll change it. Maybe this is just a dream. You know, but you want to go for the flashy plays, but he knows oh, yeah. he's he, he'll buy into something a little more orthodox for the the early game pushes that you'd imagine Liquid will try for. Well, I love it. Fly. He just protects the tower. Three v one top. They they want to push it, but even with level one Coddle Blast, he just keep it down and. It is a free farming quick the middle now. He has passed the Invoker by quite a bit. And obviously, you've seen Invoker rotate a few times, but it's going to be on this TA. Just keep it up. Keep farming. Get your get your Deso. It's going to be a boat. It's coming in top. Hits on the Crystal Maiden. More TPs. This is going to be an easy kill on Sanya. Yeah, it is. They're just getting active now. Arbed getting the earn charges. Always ready to make a play, so you know, despite the fact the Liquid themselves are the ones to oh. sort of push issues, <laughs> EG's always responding. We're gonna see. Won't even get the rune. All right. Looks like Ramsey's was uh, pretty scared to go in there, but we we do see Crit. He kind of sneaks around and steals that rune from Boxy. But now Crit could just be in trouble. He literally could just get run down here. Boxy's pissed. He is soul ring up in two. That will be the kill. And there it is. As simple as that, Boxy continues his domination. Level nine. I think he needs to help his team, though. Oh, yeah. Mickey, Mickey's dead. Goodbye. Tornado into the air. Will it be enough to kill? No, he'll come down, and Ramses will take that kill. Less than a 1,000 gold lead. Obviously, an alchemist on EG's side. Like, I think uh, you need to push out this bottom lane as the Omni Knight, and then TP up to top to join your Leshrac in hitting that safe lane tower. Quake, but does get a pretty, I mean, this middle tower is nice, right? You can invade Alk's jungle a little bit easier now. They're going to come in, though. What's up, Insania? Quake, going to lay a trap. Will it be enough? He throws out the tornado. Is that enough damage? It is. Crystal Maiden goes down. And now oh, we're going to try to turn on TA. Do they have a swap? They do not. Well, they do. Didn't want to use it, though. Be careful. Giving up these kills. You know, we're starting to see Arbed just dance around the map. With these combos and some some fantastic setup, of course, is always there for him. Are they defending this bottom tier one tower? They do have the glyph. Siege unit will be going down if he doesn't tank up. Yeah, Boxy. Well, I'm, I'm curious. They have a glyph. They'll use it. It's free. Boxy will run away. The siege unit, though, will go down. Will it get that last hit off? It did. And they want to swap it back. There's the tower, Boxy. He's You're dead anyway. It. Yeah, he's just dead. Here comes the boat as well. They've got it. No more man. <laughs> he's going for it now, but there's another tornado and Abed doesn't get the kill if they do. Oh my goodness. Uh, they finally bring him down. And the well, He forced all those heroes to bottom lane, which means Mickey should be able to take top tower. Yeah. What was that? Tiger's still just farming. He does have the blink queued up. We'll know in 100 gold if he truly wants to go. Is, is he, is he going to commit? Is, yeah. is that his dream? The, the blink. I mean, well, what argument could you see this game for him going for the blink? And in fact, the blink into the BKB. He does want to play with this black hole. He's I, not building for the team in terms of those auras. I legit don't know. Because you have a torrent to cancel. You have a coddle ulti. You, I, I legit do not know. I, I can't tell you. Maybe you should eat the, the five-man black hole. That's the answer to all those problems. True. If he gets it. Well... We are just going to see bottom lane, some TVs coming in from Crystal. I mean, he's, he's coming in with the smoke. See what they can grab from this, but uh, EG, they're, they're playing wiser to this. They're out of there. In fact, Mickey, he has been oh, left alone last. top whilst oh. the rest of Liquid try to make that move down bottom. So he will fall. And EG backing themselves away from that bottom lane, meaning that that smoke and potential blink reveal from Tiger will not get them a kill, at least straight up. I say that, you have Ramsey stepping back down into the lane, and they'll punish that. Tiger's in. Will come in with the black hole as Ramses is locked down. He's pretty tanky. Not tanky enough, though. They'll take down the Kunkka. The blink dagger revealed, and they do get a kill off the back of it. Yep, I like it. He was very close to getting the boat off. You saw him raise his hand. If he got it off before the hole, he probably lives there, but they do a nice job. Chain the stuns and get the kill. They're going to have a uh, Desolator soon on Koifa, which uh, could mean a very fast Roshan for Team Liquid. I like the pace they're keeping. I do feel like EG yeah. is reading them really well when it comes to their rotations, like how they backed out of bottom and picked off Mickey at top lane just now. Uh, I feel like that's happened uh, two or three times in this game where they've just read where Liquid wants to play. Um, they're, they're playing away from the Omni Knight. 
I mean, how, very nice. How scary to you at the moment does this Alk farm look? Like, are you looking at this Alk and going, okay, he's had he's had his start that he wanted. It's scary. You, gotta, but you think this is pretty scary? I think it's pretty scary. Already. Especially he's going second item heart. It's pretty scary. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much a, like a, what, 11 minute radiance or something? Yeah. They had so many stacks for him. And I feel like they did not put enough effort in stopping that. Well, Abed, this kill, is a nice kill. kill. Yeah, wow. Didn't expect the sentry lane just as it was about to expire as well. Can we Roche with that? We have Desolator. We can Roche. Looks like Quakeva is logging in there. Invisorin was there, but he's just going to meld and wait for his team to get in here. Yeah, wait for the double meld stack. So that's minus 16 armor plus another minus 7. That's minus two armor 23 only. armor. Minus. And flies over here, but it might be too slow. I think this might just go down for free. So yeah, the timing is scary, but I legit think that Liquid is doing very good job. Very good job keeping the, the pace up on this game. And yeah, they may actually be able to kill Arteezy here. He does have fly there. Yeah, Is he to throw the ult? You always forget about the coddle cap. And yeah. Hero can do a lot of stuff when no BKBs are here. That and uh, both Koifa and Mikkei backed off to their jungle areas. So, Did they steal the bounty away? They did. Taiga, good job there. Taking the bounty rune away from the alchemist. Yep. Two for two instead of that three for one. It is a, a little bit of a gold lead for EG. As you see Arteezy at the top of the net worth chart by quite a bit. So if you take away like how much he's ahead, it's like a 4K lead right now for, for Radiant. Yeah, I mean, you look at some of the heroes. Right? Arbed, for, for all the moves he's been making around the map, he's fallen behind on the gold. Yeah. It's interesting to me that uh, he's going straight heart. Maybe it's because it's such mixed damage between Leshrac's magic damage, but the TA's heavy physical. Um, that he doesn't feel good about like BKB plus an armor item. That he just wants just raw HP. But then he's matching into Midnight Pulse. But. Ooh, and here's Going for a bit of a bait here with RTZ. They have to know something's up. They're like, oh, RTZ's farming pretty far away by himself, and no one's on the map. They're just going to run uphill. He is melded up there. Let's see what they want to do. Put the old here, EG. They've got the focus there. It's the Will O' Wisp down, oh surrounding the two of them. Grabs them in. Quite for down a mana swap back. He'll be the focus of the boat. Flies through straight down off the head of the TA. They've killed him off once. Mikkei's trying to get as much damage out as he can, but they've lost both the back. Black hole. Oh, there's Boxy Tiger. Oh, it's a great bleak, but there's the counter. Arbed straight away with the tornado. Puts a stop to it as Liquid will all fall. I mean, they got that heart, and RTZ marched up so confidently, not you could give... see why. Yeah. It wasn't even close. And this is, this is sort of the problem you were worried about with that blink purchase on the Enigma. You Any team fight, you, you just, you're matter. not going to get the black hole off. If you do not catch everyone, you, that black hole is going to be put to a stop. Dude, the... And honestly, now it feels like the game's almost over. Yeah, it really does, because this alchemist is going gonna, is gonna to snowball, right? They do need to get this mid tower, maybe get some wards, but... That's hard. Arteezy just gonna farm, and dude, look at how many spear vessel charges invoke rate. He had one urn charge, and now he wins a fight, gets a full spear vessel, and he just has six charges. He's good for the rest of the game. Yeah, and uh, yeah, sure, he's he's down in farm, but uh, he knows the game's on the back of, of Arteezy, and, and that EG's gonna be feeling farm with that. He doesn't need to sort of be in the top three net worth to, to have an impact this game, Arbed, as we saw just then. You know, just sitting on the side, throwing out a tornado, that can do it for the team fight. That all he needs to be, that's all he needs to make happen. Save the out. Yeah. I think Taiga has to be in these fights, by the way. He can't play the edges and wait for the perfect blink black hole. He's got to get Midnight Pulse down and keep a hero stunned with Malphys. I think that's more important than a one second black hole, you know? Yeah. I agree. I mean, it's. Because the out can't fight in it, right? So if you're fighting at that choke point, if he just has the midnight pulse on that hill, I think it becomes a lot harder for people to just run through it. Yeah. They also need to be, like, actually grouped up more. Yeah. As uh, you said, that was kind of a weird, like, three of them were ready for that fight. The other two were still coming. Yeah. And, yeah, you don't want to take a, a negative fight against a heart radiant Alk who has a full AC yeah, and, a, and a thousand gold. It's uh, those item timings for RTZ do continue to impress it uh, just 18 minutes in. A bit of bad luck on the Observer Ward as well. Where that fight was, if you check out that Observer Ward and the two sentries that are surrounding it. Oh, just it's like, that's nuts. It, that's actually it, it, crazy. Like, perfectly. <laughs> just that one little corner is gone. 
Now this might be a, a tier two, but they're going for a tier two of themselves. Mickey shredding down that tower with Edict down bottom. So when you say like it feels like the game's like almost over, it's just the Al we know the alchemist is now out of control. He's gonna get his all his items. So now Liquid had to fall back on Plan B. You don't like Plan B, but Plan B is okay. All of our heroes do scale relatively well. We can hit a really nice mid game timing still. Uh, we just won't be able to stop the yeah. alchemist. Now we have to be the ones to weather the storm. You're about to lose your base because he has picked up an AC and you have an alacrity out. And where the hell did that tier three go? It's 19 minutes in. What can they do though? Mickey steps oh forward, nearly straight up dies. X Mark is there from Ramsey, drags him back into the concoction. They have to pop the GA to keep Mickey safe. And it will do so. EG back off for now. There's the jump forward from Tiger. Now they'll turn. In fact, Mika, he stepped incredibly far forward here. He tried to go back in on hardly any HP at all. The Lesh will die. Mika has to buy back if they want to try and keep this fight going. Foxy stepping forward, but he's in underneath the Will-O-Wisp. He's trying to get this fight going back in their favor, but they turn. And that's another core dead. Foxy just falls on the front of the fight. And they're just throwing cores at EG now, and it's not doing anything. That was a strange death by Boxy. It looked like he was trying to get to the TA, but... He was just running in he alone. He didn't have died. GA. He yeah. just ran into the five of them. And then, it, I mean, those sort of plays almost feels like Liquid themselves are throwing in the towel. Yeah, I, I would say this is another thing, like, as any sort of Dota player, exit as a team. EG, they wanted to back there. They didn't just leave, though, right? They, they left as a five-man group. The Coddle gets a nice ulti off because of it. If you just TP out one by one, EG probably just ends up dying there, but because they leave as a five-man unit, they're okay. Don't leave your teammates. The um, Liquid... I'm not sure. I, I just don't agree with a lot of the itemization in this game. I we all disagree with the Blink Dagger. That's pretty questionable. Uh, I, I also kind of disagree sweet. with Boxy's build. I don't think Four Staff is super effective in this game like it's it's okay it's never going to be bad four staff's always a good item but i i personally feel like they needed a medallion they needed not yeah. just like the extra roshan pressure is great but they needed to to turbo amp up this uh templar assassin okay. and make her strong enough to like chunk down alchemist and because you could have yeah. like if you go back this game you know the start of the box you have right like he had the potential to sort of take the game in his hands and say hey look i had a fantastic lane I'm crushing Ramses, and then it all sort of fell apart. But and it looks like he's going fourth item eggs on our easy way yeah. up. They want to find this kill. There is no Aegis, I mean, but yeah, you see Tiger jump do. in. He has the black hole, but he knows that he can't. He can't use it. Yeah. is trying to like assassinate Fly or something in the back lines. But all this armor doesn't like he's he's not effective against Artezi anymore yeah, at all. Dude, is he actually... Oh, no. He, it looks like he's going to buy an Octarine. No, he's buying a full Shiva's on RTZ, my no, bad. Switching it up armor. a lot. I mean, good good luck as the TA at that point. I mean, as, as anything, right, in terms of hitting this hero, RTZ is just... He's too many items ahead right now. You see his left track. I mean, this is the carry, right? This is Mickey. He's currently... He's got a Yules. He's very close to the BKB with the Kaya. I mean, he will do damage if he can get in the middle, but we haven't seen a left track just, like run in the middle, right? Like, uh, without that BKB, you can't really. No, it's pretty much impossible against this this lineup of EG. And especially considering how the game is looking right now. With the lead that they have, 22 minutes in, 17 to 9, 11 km. Nearly in entire map control, as it seems. You see that? The experience difference actually starting to go the the way of liquid, but it feels like when you're you've lost two tier threes and they're pushing at your base without an Aegis. It's, it's pretty tough. I mean let's see let's see them get the Alc off their axe. He hasn't even popped his ult even though it's up. He will I mean, now. They're jumping, but with that heart, he's just got so much health to work with. A drag tiger back, four star does manage to get him out of the reach of the boat. Starting to push them back a little bit, EG. Still doing their best to hit onto the racks with Arteezy at the front. And Alacrity used to ensure the range racks. They, they won't stick around for the melee racks quite yet. As the chemical rage does come to an end. Right. I think, you know, EG not, not feeling really under too much pressure with the lead that they have right now. Yep. They know that pretty much the Radiant right now can only be farming. I mean, they're, they're trying to farm elsewhere. The TA is just farming the triangle, but it, they're pretty much stuck the triangle in their base. 
Yeah, I bet it's like mid game might be able to run down some lanes. And right. also, also the hardest part, they have a ward in their base from the dire. And I mean, if you if your tower is down, you you should definitely be countering this. For sure. Just having a ward in your base. I mean, it gives so much information. Oh, someone's leaving the top lane. I wonder where they're going. Obviously, to the triangle. It's tough. EG ahead 11k with this. Obviously, all of the farms on the Alchemist, but the Alchemist is at that point where it is almost impossible to kill him. And I think they are so far, Lee, these sort of games uh, a testament why you see teams like Adroit turn up against EG. They ban out that first phase every time because I think arguably our EG is... They're just one of the best teams at playing around the the Alks timings. They, they know exactly how to execute uh, a game with an okay. Alk on their line. This is, Liquid have a chance here. They, they have two BKB, 10 second BKBs. They can get to this road. They need to get into it so fast though. Holy oh, crap. Oh, is actually kind of baiting it out. That's going to be real weird. They look for crit. I mean, the commitment here from quite from the side is saying it does pop the ult. Rum's going to be out over onto Arteezy, puffing him up. BKB now popped by Mickey. The black oh. hole is there. Does suck in the two of them, but there's the swap back. Cancel the backup, but already Ramsey's and Arteezy put that incredibly down. low with these BKBs. Liquid, they'll Ooh. kill off the two cores. They're now into the pit, looking to finish it off. Arbed. Oh, Arbed's going to try and do some He's stylish bullshit. He's trying for a snipe, but the sentries are down. Arbed may have just walked into his own death. He's rooted up. They'll lose Arbed as well. Liquid will strike back hard and get the Roche and Aegis for themselves. Wow. That changes it from like almost 100% win for EG. They get that Aegis, you allow Alk to do that. That's that's a huge team fight, Nate. That, was, got... that was the turnaround exactly when it was needed for Liquid. Dude, Narcisi, Holding them in the game that... Yeah, he casted his ult to try to kill Roche. And at the end of that fight, he wasn't even in a chemical rage anymore. He's just a yeah. normal alchemist dying to a Midnight Pulse. I mean, yeah, they were they were on top of the Midnight Pulse for almost the full duration. Thanks to all of that. They, I mean, again, the perfect timing of picking up both your BKBs. Just being able to get into Roshan right as it's about to get to that like critical point where EG's not sure if they fully commit for the Roshan to try and burst it down. Do they try and back off? And then uh, I, I think in any of those situations, is you as the team that has uh, has wrestled control over the Roshan pit away, don't always burst down Roche. I love the fact that Koifa actually took a little bit slower. Yep. Once Abed tried to like just kind of dive in, he's like, all right, whatever, you, you run in here. Roshan's healthy enough. You're not going to kill it. I'm the one who's the, who's the physical damage healer, not you. They get the Abed kill on top of that. Now he's level 20, so they've got even more armor attraction. Oh, Boxy, though. He does have four staff. Get over. No. There's no way. He just, he, I mean, it's five heroes. He just got eaten alive. Yeah. I'm curious to see what they do. do you just take this tier two middle, and then I wonder where you go from there. I know Sarteezy, he's had an open item slot with that Helm of Iron. Well, if you don't want the five armor, that's on you. But <laughs> I don't know. It's actually been like this for three minutes. I'm actually just getting angry now. I do like how he swashed up. He was going for a nullifier, and he's like, well, uh, I kind of got locked down there. I might as well just get a BKB, because why the hell not? And it looks like yes. they're still not that scared. It's a little greedy for going for heart double ar armor items and still no BKB. Okay, this, the, uh, this fight, they, they of course won't have the black hole, not quite back up yet. They do have the BKBs ready to pop again, of course, and that Aegis and Gs. So, still a little scary for EG to, to overcommit. They just go for the easy racks again, just taking a ranged. Backing off, a Liquid, they want to strike back now with this Aegis and Gs to see what they can catch here with this smoke. This is good timing, 10 seconds for Enigma Zolti. He'll have it by the end of this if they start a fight. Chris the job. Looking oh, for tall. No way. <laughs> they all got out. Big. Two, that, that's the worst. You, they saw the Venge, so they moved over to Venge, and when they don't get her, they're just out of position to get the others. Feels bad for that smoke from Liquid. What was he building? Helm of Iron. Oh, nice no pick. The Nullifier. All right. And Abed, is he just dead? He is? Seems to be the end of the fight, though. And hey, it's hard to chase. Make it trying to go for more, but oh, the BKP's worn it's off. It's hard to chase. Okay, Boxy's here. You're all good. You're all good. Nice play. Mike's got to remember that his team, when that Willow was is up, it, his team cannot chase very well. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's this giant ball of light blocking their way. I mean, not only that, right? He's at 507 move speed. He just can push a lot quicker than the rest of his team. Yeah, that's true. 
He's just moving. All right, so it's a 7k lead. I mean, Liquid has slowly, you know, knocked it down. They did lose another Range Rack, so they've lost Range Rack bottom and top. Although, yeah, all melee racks still holding. there. Exactly. And okay, especially considering the, the, the large lead that EG did have in gold, obviously a lot of it, well, the majority of it on the Alchemist. Still Liquid being able to hold them back from, from losing the, the major structures inside the base. Okay, so he's almost got the, the trio of items you need. The Lincolns. Link, BKB, and now he's going for Lincolns. But Lincolns doesn't even stop Venge. Because there's two Because you have two swaps. And there was a bug. I'm not sure if it's still that way. There is. There was a bug where if uh, you swap a Lincolns, you keep your charge. Oh. Huh. Yeah, that was a real thing. That's a feature. That was broken in Dota. I hope it's not still that way. Well, I guess we'll find uh, out shortly. I mean, either way, it's like all the same, right? You're, you're going to have two charges for this guy, yeah. so... So uh, now somebody else has to build the Lincolns and use the activated on Enigma. And then he can get the full BKB black hole. Yeah. I could see Omni doing it after Solar Crest. Who knows? Who knows? Solar Crest for the Kunga coming up shortly. I mean, is EG just waiting for this Aegis and then just going to push base? It doesn't feel like they need the Aegis themselves. They just have to play a little more careful. I think with this BKB from Ortiz, they might be a little more aggressive. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, he could just BKB hit the racks. There's not too much that he's going to be worried about bursting in that, in that situation. I mean, their lineup is cool because it, uh, it, it all buffs up the Alchemist, right? You've got Alacrity, you've got Rum, you've got Crit giving both Wave of Terror as well as Nether Swamp to be able to reset a fight to allow the, the Alchemist regen to kick in. Uh, but it does mean you're very single core, and when they lose their Alchemist, then Liquid knows they can just run play really over. aggressively and run over the rest of EG. Because you look at the Kunkka, right? He's built entirely for team fight, as you should with offlane Kunkka. Lotus or Pipe, Solar Crest. Abed, I mean, he's got the Ags now, but still low level. Only level 17 at 31 minutes in is this middle invoker. TA. Almost 23. When you get that 25, all of a sudden the, the game changes again. You get this meld bash hit. You can actually control them. It's scary. I, I feel if this TA does get 25 in the in a, in a decent time, EG, they gotta push like that. Oh, I, yeah. I think they are in a window now. Almost a MKB and level 25 would be massive for Koifa. We'll see. I mean, if he gets it, yeah. And he should be able to because EG's playing this very slow. They're they're scared to push uphill. Roshan may respawn in a minute 30. We might be waiting for that. Cast range up on fly now. And here's a smoke. We've seen a, a few. The last two smokes EG has done, they just run down middle and hope to find someone. And smoke number three will be no different. Let's see if they can get coming into the jungle where they may just find Tiger, but Tiger very quick with the blink. Will a wisp will be dropped. BKB and TP Swap. out will not get him to safety. Swaps there. Tiger down. God, he is not tanky either. He just gets chunked once he, even with BKB. And now oh. he's going to have to commit buyback or you're losing almost your entire base. And what if he buybacks? He'll, he'll have a black hole, but he won't have a BKB. It's true. This is actually super hard for them right now. Blip. Close that out. All right, you got MKB TA coming from behind. See, still no melt bash hit, but Let's see if Quaifa can get the quick kills to start things off. He melts them, yeah. I mean, there's no Coddle ulti as well either. Yeah, on the backside uh, he does go in. Oh, he's in trouble though. It looks like maybe not. They are gonna have the BKB now popped by Quaifa. for GA as well, backing him up. They're trying to surround Artor and Ramsey's Ramsey's getting the boat buff on the all of them. Get the swap back, trying to get Boxy back closer towards the rest of the team of EG. Crit looking for the setup into the torrent. Boxy now out of mana. Narteezy is trying to get on top. Concoction cooking up. Will be able to get it out just in time before the stun is there. Boxy did have that extra status too. resistance. They really need to save him. And they're not going to be able to get Boxy uh, back to base. He's dead and does not have buyback. He's out of the game for 50. And Ulti's back up on Alex. This Alex's only level 20. He's actually just been 5 banning this whole time. Not that high level, but it doesn't matter. And this time, EG, they will get away with taking the big one down. The melee racks gone from the bottom lane. They'll move towards mid. 
creeps are not quite there though in any okay the bottom lane is coming in uh, they'll be fine backdoor protection is removed now onto a second set of rex is still was he just what out out of money on on boxy is that why he's not got the buyback or is it still on cooldown uh he was he's a broke boy no money 802 gold and they're just gonna get mega it looks like maybe not they ping chemical rage wearing out yeah. they not worth risking, right? You have, you have map control You've already now. just got so much off the yeah. back of that. You know Roche could be up, obviously. It's, we, we know it's not, but they'll check. and We know it will it will respawn in 10 seconds. It'll be interesting to see how quick they, they scout it out afterwards. Man, it's got to be... Who are you giving Scepter to, by the way? On who? Is it to Coddle? It might, it might be. be to Coddle. I mean, you were, you were selling me the Venger. Well, Venger's well, already buying just, his own. He are, he's oh, already building it, it, and Invoker maybe, maybe, already has it. <laughs> that's, and okay, that's... Kunkka Ags is actually bad. It's really oh, no, he just gives it to the Venge. It is that okay. important. All right. Oh, yeah, I mean, they know they're about to close the game up. Oh, uh, at least yeah. they feel they're like, well, sorry, Crete, you're not going to have time to farm it yourself, so uh, take this. Uh. I mean, as long as they can't kite Arteezy. Crit's just... Whoa. Uh, Whoa! What are they doing here? They're going for the long wraparound. They've come for their own jungle. Swap back will be there trying to get Fly out. At least giving him a chance to throw down his spells, but they've already That's lost the one. Ass. There's the chase down. Make it with the BKB trying to commit onto Ramsey's. Ramsey's he's tanky, but the stun's out. Now they'll get the ult out. Dragging the back in quite full with the BKB. Still trying to commit. Tiger who going for oh. back over instantly. It just gets stopped. And they're able to move in. Arteezy with his own BKB can now come in. Mikke will dodge the stun. But Mikke, he's already used his own BKB. He cannot survive this surely. Or maybe with the save there from Boxy, he can. Boxy Ooh. will keep Mikke alive. Tiger's trying for the TP out. He's not going to get away. They'll lose two. Oh, they and can't. they Mikke also still. have the vision for the drag back on Mikke. He will have a buyback. But again, Boxy does not have his own. Neither does Tiger. Not that it matters with Tigers <laughs> already used the, the black hole in the BKP himself. They'll lose Insania, they're buying back, but it seems pretty futile right now as EG are ready to move down, close up a, a third and final set of racks away from Liquid. Dude, they were not expecting the Ags on the bench either. That should just be a kill now. Looks like Koikva might get away. And there it is. GG's called. And EG man. will take game one. I mean, it's literally impossible to run away from this lineup once you get broken in a team fight. Yeah. Bench swap, X marks the spot, Invoker, Quaswix Invoker.